evening. What is happening? It is exciting to be together for the Hour of Power prayer meeting. Tonight. <laughs> what do you love about Wednesday night prayer meeting? Uh, getting to find out who wants to pray. <laughs> I like it, especially when you sign your name in there, Jackie, that you uh, are praying. And Emanuela, uh, I like it when your names show up there, then I say an extra prayer. But uh, prayer is always important. And uh, it's important because it's what God asks us to do. And we thank you for joining us. Please log in there, type a name, say hi, Pastor Rick. And uh, ah, David, good to see you tonight, my friend. Welcome back to Rome. Good to see you Sunday. That was awesome. And, uh, uh, you know, as people are coming back to Italy, um, it's amazing how they start immediately inviting their friends and their friends accept Christ. And uh, it's just uh, incredible stories. We had a young man saved two weeks ago. And uh, what, a, what a testimony. Uh, he came back the ne last Sunday and he said to me, I said, I'm so glad you came back. He says, I wouldn't miss it. My life was changed last week and uh i said wow that's an amazing testimony hi hi shan i'm happy to see you we got some powerful prayer partners praying here hi amir from watching from kenya we're happy that you're here as well lenora hi there we're gonna pray for some real victories tonight so it's wednesday night it's the hour of power prayer meeting Log in there, friends. Tell us. Hi, Shirley. <laughs> we always see Shirley. Yeah. Tell us, tell us your uh, name or where you're from. And one of the things I want you to do in the chat, just as we're getting started, we're going to invite the Lord to just take control of our session. Uh, maybe there has been something powerful that you have heard or experienced. There's Lewis. our brother Lewis from South Africa. Hi, Esther. We talked to you today, uh, my friend. We uh, are going to be Bettina. Hey, I'm good. We're glad you're coming back in December. Um, but I want you to write something in the chat for someone else as a testimony that this month the Lord showed me something or this month. I grew in my prayer life because uh, I'm so excited that this month of faith moves our prayers. And tonight's the last day of September, the last day of this theme for the month. But I'm going to um, carry it over next yeah, month. We had, we've had people healed. We've had people filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of their prayer language and just their countenance changing and more people saying, I'm hungry and more people bringing their friends, bringing their friends because God is doing really amazing things. So no matter what's on your heart tonight, there's lots of things, you know, even on Sundays, sometimes we know we, we arrive, we're full of faith and full of excitement. And then we get a, te a text or a phone call or something from a family member. And it's just when one of those things, you have to take a deep breath. So to, let's take a deep breath. I love to do that. One more time to relax you after this busy, stressful day. And we're going to invite the Holy Spirit to let his power and his dominion come forth out of our prayers tonight. Amen? Amen. So just open your hands and your heart like this. And Father, we invite you right now yes, to this do, hour of prayer. But God, we know so yes, many Lord. pray before yes, and after and through the night and the yes. next day. Yeah, and so hallelujah. Lord, yes, I pray God. for every person who has already uh, logged on, for those who will log on in just a few minutes as they're getting off of work and getting home. We pray for those in America and around the world that are joining in on different timetables. Yes, God, Lord. we yes, believe yes, that Lord. your authority takes precedent over everything in this world, over yes. every situation, over every worry, over every fear. God, you have the power to give us the victory. Yes, you and do. And so tonight, Lord, we are praying for victories. Yes. And we are thanking you for victories. Yes, we are. We love you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we magnify Hallelujah. your name Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, again, type something in that chat that says this month, 
for this week. I have grown or the Lord has shown me this. God has done this answer for me. And while you're doing that, go ahead, Pastor Rick, you talk to him for a minute. And then I'm going to tell you the process of prayer one last time. And um, this is from our series that we did this month. And I uh, just want to encourage you, if you've not listened to this series on prayer, uh, it, it just was a powerful God moment. And um, God used these messages to uh, do a whole lot of good work for a whole lot of people. And so in this night, you know, our new format is we, we pray differently than we've been praying for the last few years. Um, and we'll call them out these different areas of prayer. And um, we always end with praying for this week, coming week services. And uh, we've got some great news to tell you when we get to that moment. But, uh, you know, God's just for us. God's helping us. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to listen right now to these, this process of prayer. I wish I could show you the picture, but I want you to imagine the warrior dressed in full armor. And in that armor is the spiritual armor that God says, put on the full armor. So the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the sword, which is the word of Lord, the, the word of the spirit, the, the belt that is uh, girded around you for truth, the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So imagine you are the warfare. You've got salvation on so that your mind thinks about Jesus and not about you and not about your problem. You are saved in the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ. You've got that breastplate of righteousness because we know the prayers of the righteous are very effective. So I have to be in right standing. And I lift up that shield of faith with my weapon of the word of scripture. And I pray with dominion authority. That's what we've been learning this month. And one of the things we have talked a lot about is the process of prayer. You know, many we've been praying for different things for people that some write back within a week or two and God has done it and it's finished. Some are still in the process. So I want you to be encouraged. The first step is start the prayer. And that's what you're doing tonight. Don't give up. Don't say God doesn't care about this little thing. He does. He cares about every detail. So start the prayer. The second thing is to recognize that you will have obstacles. Continue praying and believing past the obstacle. Don't let that obstacle hit you and then you say, okay, well, I guess I'm not supposed to pray about this. No, you continue past the obstacle. <clears throat> David had an obstacle of a giant and he said, I come in the name of my God. He didn't let that obstacle stop him. The third thing is that you have to sometimes intensify your prayer with fasting. I have been so blessed in these past several weeks as the Lord has prompted me to do some fasting and realizing that things that I have prayed for for many years, I, I am seeing answers. I am seeing the process unfold, the miracle unfold. So intensify with fasting. You can fast a meal. You can fast a day. You can fast technology. But do something and then spend time with the Lord during that process. Number four, stand fast on his promises. God gave us Psalm 91. God's given you promises in the scripture. So when you're praying and you get past the obstacle and you've been fasting, then you stand on the promises of scripture that the Lord has given you. Three is intensify with fasting. Four is stand fast on his promises. Five, what you're doing tonight with us, pray with believing people. The enemy would like all of us to believe that you don't need anybody else to pray with you. You don't need to join prayer. You know why this is so important? Because the Bible says where two or three agree as touching anything, it will be done according to the Lord. So when we pray with believing people, when we get weary, in well-doing when we are weary in the process you know we're talking about nine steps but it could be nine months nine years who knows but when you pray with other believing nine days people, nine minutes nine seconds then god does something powerful number six is keep praying boldly stay in a right be mindset be confident with god know that he is with you 
Number seven is pray with thanksgiving. Be grateful. So we thank God. And it's before the answer. The answer is at step nine. This is the process the Lord showed me. But I don't give thanks at nine, at step 10. I, give, I start giving thanks at step seven, maybe in even step one. But I'm saying, Lord, thank you that you are going to touch. Thank you that you are going to bring home that prodigal. Thank you that you are going to allow your Holy Spirit to comfort. Thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh. And then number eight, never give up. Say never give up. Never. Did you learn that in sports? Never. <laughs> you don't never give up. Oh, yeah. It's all about sports. You can finish. <laughs> finish strong. Start. Finish. And so no, don't give up. Your answer is on the way. Your answer is on the way. And step number nine is then that we see the victory. And then it's very important. We give God the glory. So that's why I asked you in the chat, if God has done something for you, it doesn't even have to be this past week or whatever, but God gave me a job. God gave me a contract. God brought, back, brought me back to my university. God helped me pass an exam. How many of our students have prayed that God would help them with their exams? I want you to give God glory that he has helped you pass your exams, graduate, do interviews. God has provided those things. Give God a testimony in that chat because it will lift up someone else's heart. Yeah, listen and, to that. It will lift someone else up. Yes. Because they need to hear. They may be going through the same thing. And if you say that, hey, God helped me, that means God's no respecter of persons. Amen. God's going to help them. Amen. It's so important. We need to hear it from more than just a pastor um, or our spiritual leaders. We need to hear it from each other. That God, I've been praying for you and I saw this happen. Verse, verse, 1 John chapter 2, verse 20 says, but you say me. Me, I have you. Me. <laughs> you have an anointing, authority from the Holy One, and you know the truth. The Bible says we will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. So as we begin to pray tonight for the generations, and we're thinking about this process, we've prayed for the younger generation. We've prayed for the university students that they, as they've gone back to school, and we will pray for educational aspects in a minute but we prayed for the elder generation that the yeah, lord would a few weeks ago us. they called us the elderly <laughs> i never thought i would be we got elderly. all our tech kids and they called us elderly <laughs> but i will tell you this i am seasoned i am determined um there's a new song i've been listening to by tasha cobbs and it says you can't make me doubt him because i know too much about him and so the enemy will keep trying to make you doubt the power of God to give you those prayers that you're praying. But here's the deal. You know the truth. So you can't ask God for something that is not in accordance with his word. But when you know the truth and you have that anointing from the Holy One, then powerful things happen. And you, imagine Peter. It was Peter, right? That was They were touched by a shadow. Yes. <laughs> so imagine <coughs> that, all right? And what if some, your shadow goes across the room and someone says, hey, Mary, hey, Boriana, I need you to pray for me. Maybe that's, that's an answer to your prayer. So as we start to pray for the generations right now, I want us to pray thinking about generations, not in age of how long you've been on the planet, but how long you've lived and walked with Jesus. So let's pray for the new generation of believers. Let's pray for the adolescent believers. They've been serving God a while and they're really getting their firm footing, but you know, maybe they haven't had too many hills and valleys yet, but they love Jesus and they've been with him and they're memorizing scripture. And then let's pray for the parents, the spiritual parents of the generations that know the word of God, but the enemy, he doesn't quit just because we get a certain age. He doesn't quit because we've been filled with the Holy Spirit. He keeps trying to make you doubt. He keeps trying to make you stop. But you can't make me doubt him because I know too much about my God. So tonight, as we pray for the generations, Pastor Rick, you want to pray or you want me to pray? You pray. Okay, I'm going to pray for the spiritual generations. We're going to pray for the baby Christians, those who maybe are even still technically in the womb. They haven't birthed that salvation in their life yet. You've been witnessing to some of those. 
and you're just waiting to see that newborn spiritual baby come to life. You've been walking with Jesus for a while and you, you're running, you got that adolescent energy with Jesus, but sometimes it feels like you wish you knew more and you wish maybe you're not good enough. That's not true. That's a lie from the enemy. And then for those spiritual giants that they will not lose heart, that they will not lose faith, that we will persevere no matter what. So right. Father, Hallelujah. we come to you. We start this prayer, Lord Jesus, God. Jesus, we believe Jesus, you. Jesus, we stand Jesus, on the promises. Jesus, you said that the youth Jesus, would lead us, Jesus, that the young Jesus, men would see Jesus. visions and the old men would dream dreams. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter Hallelujah. how young or old Hallelujah. we are. You have a plan, yes. a plan to prosper each yes, of us, a plan Jesus. to use our lives and our testimony. God. God, I pray for our prayers tonight. So, As Lord, right now we pray for the baby generation God, of spiritual believers. God, God I pray for those them. ones maybe Give that haven't strength. even been birthed yet. They're they're hearing the word. Somebody's witnessing to them, yes, but they haven't yes, made a commitment yes, yet. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, we pray for yes, a new Lord. generation of believers to come forth. Yes. We've seen that happen this year. Golly. COVID thought it was going to push it down, but instead oh, people no. got hungry. They got searching. They said, I need to know this Jesus. Golly. I want to know more about how you keep a smile on your face so lord we pray for the new generation of believers yes, god lord. i pray yes, for the lord. the older generation <clears throat> however old they are that is having an influence in that yes. young generation yes. of believers god that spiritual young generation God, I pray that each of us would take our responsibility seriously. We would not give up. We would not yield to doubt. We would not yield to laziness. Hallelujah. We would not yield to despondency. We would not listen to the voices Hallelujah. and the tactics Hallelujah. of the enemy. Hallelujah. But Lord, we come against all of that in the anointing of the Holy yes, One, yes, in the yes. dominion authority of Jesus Christ, who resurrected Hallelujah. from the dead. Hallelujah. So God, Hallelujah. if there are people listening and praying, that maybe they thought that they could be the one that would, would mentor somebody Hallelujah. else or even be mentored by somebody and yes. they've been weary and they're not sure. God, I pray that that would be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. A new fire right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, from my mouth to your heart, from God's mouth from from heaven to me to you from us to you right now i feel like there's something in you you've been saying god i don't want to get cold i don't want to get lukewarm i don't want to be so weary that i'm not energetic Alleluia. i come against Alleluia. the lack of energy Alleluia. physically spiritually emotionally mentally i pray in jesus name for a victory for a breakthrough god is doing the breakthrough he's already brought the victory yes. lord i pray as someone fast <laughs> yes. this week as someone fast next week they begin to see and feel a breakthrough of faith energy that they are can imagine themselves arming themselves with the the weapons of spiritual warfare and nothing will discourage yes, nothing will cause us to doubt and so lord we lay those doubts down right now hallelujah. in the name of jesus hallelujah. god i pray for the generations that have been trusting you praying and standing steadfast and some have faced an onslaught of attack some have had one attack after another, after Hallelujah. another, a Hallelujah. sickness, a financial problem. But God, we call it finished yeah. in the name of Jesus. The enemy's assignment on your life, on my life, on our life is canceled. It was canceled on the cross. So whatever you thought the enemy was trying to do to you, you need to rise up. You need to speak with that dominion authority. Don't say, oh, I have this and it's going to be terrible. No, you say, no, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. It's not in my name. It's in his name that the power of yes, healing happens, yes, yes. that the power of faith happens, that the power of joy happens. Hallelujah. We will not let the battle steal our praise. And like David said, you can come at me in all your big whatever problem, but I come at you in the name of my God and I will see the deliverance. I will see the Victory. And those giants are gonna fall in Jesus name. So Lord, I thank you for touching the generations tonight, spiritually speaking, whether we're babies in Christ, whether we've been serving you for a while, whether we've been serving you a long time, Alleluia. whether we're about to make heaven our home, wherever you're at tonight, I want you to know that the goal is heaven for all of us. And so don't quit. Yes. Don't doubt. Yes. Do whatever you got to do to get the physical energy, yes. sleep, take a nap, drink, eat right, do those things. But God, help us as generations. I also want us to do something. I oh, want to yeah. show you that this, there's this linking arms that have to happen. We can't touch right now 
in church. We have to have this social distancing. But I want you to imagine right now that you're linking arms with us and we're linking arms with you. You're not doing this walk alone. We said pray with believing people. So as the generations lift from one to the next, to the next, to the next, we will not be the strand of the cord that breaks away and causes a problem. We will hold tight to one another, to the faith of one another. I'm so thankful for the faith of my grandmother's generation and my great grandmother's generation. And I'm thankful that I can pass that on to my grandchildren, but you have a legacy to leave. And so tonight, as we declare the generations will be the light in this world yes. that we so desperately need. Yes. We so desperately need. Yes. Now we're going to talk about other things and there's a lot going on in the world. And a lot of times we pray for all the issues in the world. We know that there's just all kind of negativity out there. But tonight, I just really felt like the Lord is speaking to us, the church, about him, about God, the father, and about the enemy of our soul. So that we declare from one generation to the next, the almighty works of God, my father, God, my redeemer, God, my peace, God, my hope, God, my joy, God, my strength. And so as a generational carrier of the torch of the light of Jesus Christ, you don't let go of that torch. You don't let go of that faith and that fervor. God is going to use you Amen. in the generations before you and the generations after you and the generations around you. But you got to keep shining in Jesus name. I wrote today, I wrote a message that went out to a whole lot of people. It says, don't miss your moment to have God's direction in your life. Too many people miss so many opportunities to share the good news with somebody. They miss their moment. It was a moment in the store. It was a moment at school. It was a moment online. It was a moment to bring honor and glory to the Lord. Don't miss your moment. And uh, so as we go into the next area of prayer, we're going to pray for the educational uh, aspects of our lives. And uh, that's for whatever. You know, my mom in the last two days have been studying. She's gone through chemo. She's gone through radiation and uh, she's been studying. Uh, she just finished the last dose of radiation on Friday and she's been studying because today she's taking a driver's test at 84 years of age. And, um, you know, at 84, if you can still be studying to take tests, then there's no excuse for any of us not to study. Study the word, study truth. Yes. And, and so education, as we begin to pray for that, I want to speak to a number of issues in, in that regards. Because some of you, God is calling you to further your education in the word. Further your education in the knowledge of the scripture. And so that may mean some uh, additional Bible studies. For some of you, that may be some uh, smaller groups where you can study together online. The young adult group we have in our church, they always are having Bible studies. The Connect group on Thursday is studying Isaiah. But I think it's important. You say, well, Pastor, is that the educational aspect? Yeah, that's, that's Christian. There's nothing wrong with Christian education. Amen. You know, we have online. Everybody said, well, we can't do education in church. Well, we went to online. Our classes are bigger than they've ever been. But we need to study. The Bible says study to show yourself approved. A workman that rightly knows how to divide truth. Amen. And, Amen. and you want to know how to get through your life and get on your journey? Get some more. Amen. Get some more education. But also in that area, we have a lot of children, a lot of teenagers, a lot of university students going back to school. And we need to pray for them as they enter into those uh, school systems. Um, some of them are very secular, um, but, but God's protection can be around them. There can be a, a shield, a prayer yes. from family members. You say, well, it's my children that just went off to school. God can protect them. And so we have to pray to that end. So as I go to prayer for the educational aspects of, of life. Um, I'm going to pray for all components, the Christian education component, but I'm also going to pray for the secular. It's listen, the system in our world says we got to learn. We got to learn math. We got to learn our languages. We got to, we got to learn the sciences. We got to learn. And, and so 
learn. So if you're a young person on this thing, your pastor is saying, learn, get in school and do your best and uh, let the educational system help you. And we can pray that God can help you through that. So I'm going to pray for our systems, okay, in our aspects of the system. Lord, tonight I, I lift before you this department, this area of life, educational aspects, our, our systems in the world. God, our elementary schools and and God, our, our high schools and our middle schools and their, the, the way they do schoolings in different countries. God, they have different names. Then our university schools and, and, and systems. God, our online systems for studying. God, our, our, our systems where people further their educations once their careers have even be, yes. be developed. Yes. Lord, I know that in all of these aspects of education, you can help us. Yes. First of all, you can help the system be right. Yes. The second component, Lord, you can help the professors and teachers uh, be good yes. and teach right. Amen. And then you can help the students to study and learn and apply the knowledge that they are being taught Amen. properly. Lord, I pray for parents tonight yes. in helping their students, their young people, uh, their elementary school, even their adult kids that are in, in school. I pray that you will help them. And Lord, I pray for the students themselves that they will do Hallelujah. their very best. Yes, Lord God. Yes. Lord, they will study yes, extra Jesus. hard. Yes, they will Jesus. apply themselves diligently and faithful, oh Lord. They will complete the full task. Yes. They won't complete part of the task. They'll complete the full task. Lord, I pray that you help the older people as we study for various things. Yes. Help my mom, Lord, yes, in the study is. of this test that she has to do. Mm -hmm. and, and others have to do various tests. Lord, I just pray that you will help the educational systems that we have. Yes. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And we decree your promises, Lord, over all of our learning. We know that in the Old Testament, in Psalm 119, 71, you said, a wise man will hear and will increase in learning. God, I pray that each of us would be hungry to learn more, that we would be open to changing the way that we do things, not the message of Jesus Christ, but the way in which we communicate with one another, that we would be willing to learn from mistakes. And so God, that we would be wise in what we hear, you know, because you can hear the wrong things. And Pastor Rick already said that you gotta be able to discern truth and we will be increasing in learning. In Proverbs 1, 5, it says that if you teach a just man, he will increase in his learning. So as we teach, we are helping people to increase in their learning. As you increase, even in your learning skills, in your learning aspects of the educational systems for your life, it brings a new joy. It brings a new purpose. You know, sometimes people think it's so spiritual all the time. And sometimes it's just a matter of learning a new recipe, learning a new talent, learning to sing or play the piano or play the guitar, learning to do technology, learning to do online meetings like this. But when you learn, something happens in your heart and you stay on that potter's wheel. Matthew 7, 7 says, knock and it will be open to you. Seek and you will find. And, um, Knocking, ask and you will be given. Seek and you will find. Sorry, I had a little brain freeze for a minute. In Matthew 7, 7. Because if we, if we knock, ask, seek, then we are saying to God, I want to learn. I want you to say to the Lord tonight, God, maybe you've had a challenge in learning. Maybe there's something you're going through at work right now this week. And it has been a challenge to learn a whole new way of operating, a whole new, uh, maybe a new employer new or a program. new, uh, yes, a new program <clears throat> that someone new is implementing. We've had to implement a lot of new things with COVID and working tele-remote and all of that. But you know what? You can learn it. Right. Don't say, I can't. Stop saying that. Say, I can do all things through Christ. That's how I learn who gives me strength. And wisdom. We always think and about knowledge. that verse about strength, like fortitude. But don't we need mental strength to learn? Don't we need heart strength to learn? So as we begin to pray for the next category after these educational systems, 
I want you to ask the Lord, what do you want me to learn this week? What do you want me to learn this week? Amen. And ask, it might be something simple. What Maybe God wants you to learn what your neighbor's going through. Maybe God wants you to learn something about your car so you can talk and witness to the mechanic. Maybe he wants you to learn something about your teeth so you can witness to the dentist. I don't know, but if you ask God, what do you want me to learn? And what do you want me to be wiser about? God will show you and he will do it and you will be filled with the wisdom and the knowledge of God. So the next category is health. And this time we are gonna talk about health in relationships. In October, we're going to shift to faith moves our relationships. But still hang on to prayer. And so we've talked about physical health. We've talked about mental health. We've talked about social and emotional health, relationship health. Um, but I want you to know that in relationships, the Lord wants to bring healing and health. You know, one of my favorite verses is Jeremiah 33, 6. And the Lord said, I will bring health and healing to it. And I will allow my people to enjoy abundant peace and security. So if you have a relationship that is sick, God wants to bring health and healing to it. When you have a relationship, whether it's with a coworker, whether it's at work, whether it's at the university, whether it's with an extended family member or an old friend or a new friend, it can make you sick. It can make you worried. It can make you have anxiety. So tonight you joined this prayer and maybe you didn't know that we were going to talk about what's going on in your life, but the Holy Spirit has prompted us that as we pray for help in, in relationships on that spiritual level, that you will listen to Jeremiah 33, 6 and hear the Lord say, and I will allow my people to enjoy abundant Type that in, abundant. Abundant. That's abundant more than. Abundant peace <clears throat> and security. No more anxious thoughts. No more worry and fretting. To be able, you know, you get that news of that relationship or that turmoil, and for a minute you get turmoil and you get anxious, but immediately you can say, you know what? I am thanking God in advance. Remember the prayer process. I am thanking God in advance that there is going to be help in this relationship. Amen. So we're going to pray right now for the help. And if maybe you're needing a physical need tonight and you have one or yes. you have a friend that has one, don't hesitate. If you're new to us tonight, you can type that in. You don't have to give a full name if you don't want the name. Uh, just say, I'm praying for my friend and he's got, she's got whatever. And you want to give us some information. Remember, I, we have prayer warriors that are a part of our prayer team that are in conjunction with this prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. So while you type something, we've got people that are designated here and around the world yes, that are designated right to pray for you. So if you're thinking, hey, the pastor didn't say my prayer. Listen, I, I got that covered. I got people that are praying for you. Amen. And listen, if two shall agree is touching any one yes. thing, it will be done. And I've got many people praying. Yeah. So. You, you say, well, I don't see everybody. Don't worry about it. You just worry about you talking to God tonight. Amen. That's what a prayer meeting is about. Amen. A prayer time where you focus your attention on God, what God's going to do. And as brothers and sisters from around the globe, we got people from all over the globe on this prayer right now. I know who's on there. And, and so you're talking about multiple countries, multiple nations. And, and it's amazing. So you, you say, hey, I got a need, and I guarantee you there's going to be some people praying for you and with you, okay? Amen. So it's not about us praying. It's about us, the Amen. family, Amen. the whole collective group praying. Here. Amen, okay. and thank you, Brother Ernest. We love that statement. God's power to heal is still the same, so we can expect a miracle. That's absolutely right. We expect those miracles to happen. And before Pastor Rick prays for these health issues, I'm just going to call out some things and you can type them in there. We need to pray for uh, one of our one of our ladies' friends. So we don't have a name for her. Um, well, let's call her Susie's friend. Okay, Susie is not the name, but Susie's friend needs prayer. 
and it's a complex situation. So Lord, right now we're praying Hallelujah. for Susie's friend. She's trying to be a witness to her. She yes. needs health and healing yeah, in yeah, her life. Sure so God, we pray for Susie's friend. God, I pray right now for Yao's father. He's not been feeling well and we come against sickness, infection and infirmity to be gone in the name of Jesus. Yes, we agree with Yao for the complete yes, healing Lord. manifest yes, strength and vitality yes, in his father even yes, tonight Lord. as he goes to sleep when he wakes up tomorrow yes, he sends a yes, message Lord. and reminds his son i feel better we thank god for that renewed healing and help yes, god we Lord. thank you that yes, we have Lord. prayed for yes. julie's health and god you have brought her out of the hospital you are strengthening her and we god, continue we to pray, pray for, for the renewed strength and god, energy to keep Jesus. flowing Suffer, in help jesus Wayne, name god as well. so lord we thank you that you are healing julie you are we have already seen answers to prayer over these last seven to 14 days and we continue to pray for them Hallelujah. lord we're also praying for jackie's grandmother who had a stroke god that she would have her speech returned yes that she would have her heart functioning properly <coughs> and all of the blood systems happening yes lord. lord we agree with esther for complete healing of those that are on her heart lord we you know the healing that needs to happen nothing is too difficult for you and we agree together yes. that healing will be yes, complete Lord. in the yes, name of Jesus Lord. it won't be partial that the blood tests will show the healing yes. that the x-rays will show yeah. the healing that the MRI will show the healing that the scans will show tumors are gone in Jesus name Hallelujah. we thank you Lord God that symptoms will be removed Hallelujah. Pain. Hallelujah. we call pain to cease right now in the name of Jesus if you're having pain I want you to touch that area where that pain is and we're decreeing that now in the name of Hallelujah. jesus god Hallelujah. we thank you that we can identify the exact spot mm. so we can ask seek and knock that it will be done in jesus name Hallelujah. pain Hallelujah. and the purpose the reason Hallelujah. for the pain the cause Hallelujah. of the pain Hallelujah. is gone the source Hallelujah. of the pain Hallelujah. is removed in jesus Hallelujah. name Hallelujah. health Hallelujah. and vitality to flow god Hallelujah. we thank you for that Hallelujah. in jesus name thank you lord lord i thank you for my friends lewis and shanta in south africa and for the work that they do among others and i pray that you would bless their marriage bless their ministry keep Keep health and healing a vital part of all that's yes, happening Lord, do that there in south prayer. africa lord god we lift that up to you hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so now lord we pray yes, for jesus. this the relationship health yes jesus. lord yes, we jesus. know that yes, in marriages jesus. we need healthy marriages yes, jesus. in families we need healthy families Thank you, lord. god for our grandchildren there needs to be healthy relationship yes, lord, god and and friendships lord we're praying for spiritual relationships to be developed yes. and and encouraged and blessed lord you can do all things yes and lord where there may be some strife you have the ability to work those things out god i pray in the name of jesus i pray right now for uh grace and and i pray for this situation that of someone that just sent us a note for a miracle. For the process of God, I pray for a miracle tonight. Strength in the process. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Something happened. I pray in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, I pray that these relationships will be strengthened. Yes, Lord. They will grow. Thank you. God, where there has been aught, where there has been a problem, it will be resolved. Yes, Lord, with God. honesty and transparency yes, lord i pray yes, i pray jesus. for brother to brother yes, i pray for jesus. sister to sister i pray for family yes, members lord. i pray for co-workers yes, i pray jesus. for classmates yes, i pray for neighbors oh lord i pray that relationships will be encouraged and uplifted tonight i pray it in jesus name god i pray for that prodigal son just yes. like i did on sunday yes, i feel there's a son yes. that needs to come oh, back god, god yes. somebody's been Help bombarding heaven son, lord. god i pray in the, the name of jesus that son enemy, god, will come him. back god, god i pray it in jesus name i pray it in jesus name set him free from hallelujah bondage hallelujah you can do Thank this you, god. god you can do this god lord we pray right now for those who are struggling with addiction we pray with our our friends Danny Paul as we are having more baptisms on October 13 for 12 people and they have broken free from the bondage of sin and they are declaring with baptism and so Lord right now I also pray for those who are struggling with addictions God wants to set you free 
And the next time you are tempted to pick up whatever it is or to look at whatever it is that is causing you this addiction of turmoil and distress, the Holy Spirit will convict you so strongly that you would even get sick that you would say, what is happening? I can't do that. You'd turn it off, you'd leave the room, you'd walk out of the place. God always makes a way out for temptation. Yes. And so right now, we agree together Hallelujah. as touching Hallelujah. any one thing that those who are struggling with addiction will be set free. Jesus, yes. you can. Alcoholism, I yes. rebuke you in yes, Jesus' in name. name of Jesus. I rebuke oh, you in Jesus' name. For for drug addiction, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. God, for addictions to, to, to uh, drugs and, and, and the other items that cause severe Oh, issues, oh Lord. Lord. God, I pray in families oh, and Jesus. in friendships thank and working, you, Jesus, God. Lord, God, I rebuke it in oh, Jesus' God, name. Set people you, free yes, in the God, name of Jesus tonight. Jesus hallelujah. 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 We hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Thank thank you. Jesus. Thank thank you. Thank We're praying for all those and those of you we talked to a few moments ago. If you type your note in there, there are people praying for you. I can promise you. And so as we move on now in the area of finances and resources, Lord, we're going to ask some big things tonight of the Lord, yes. because I want to focus a little bit on the subject of resources. Sometimes people don't realize how God does a provision. Yes. So many times we think it's just going to be the amount of the money that is needed. But there are times that God brings forth a resource of, of being able to take care of that. Mm -hmm. So in other words, let's say the bill was 400 And this month, instead of one of your other bills being 400 and you say, Pastor, that's a huge bill. I'm just using an arbitrary number. Instead, the bill that you normally pay that was 400 is zero. We've had it happen. <laughs> zero. I mean, zero. It is zero. You say, oh, there must be a mistake. Well, you call and they find out, yeah, it was a mistake a number of years ago. We overcharged you. See, God has a way with the resources of answering your prayers, and you don't know where it came from. It came from heaven. God worked it out. He also has a way of increasing in your job. Some of it's hours. Some of it's better pay. Some of it's more benefits but there's resources that God provides for his people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm going to pray specifically tonight for those of you that are going through some difficulties in the area of finances, that the way that God reveals the resolve of this situation mm -hmm. is through abundant resources. Amen. But my God shall supply all of your needs. Yes according to his riches mm. it's not according to what we don't have it's according to what he does have you think about that <laughs> through christ jesus mm -hmm. now if you pray the prayer like that then you understand that it's not like a check's going to come in the mail and you're going to have x amount of, of euro or dollars or yen Pounds. or whatever <laughs> it, it, it's not that way there's some ways that god answers the prayer of the need through resources. And maybe you've never prayed it this way before. I pray this way a lot. You understand what I'm saying? Bring the bill down, make the make the increase happen, make there be more, more food, make there be an abundance. I pray that way for the finances of our church. Lord, bring us the resources we need. Give us a better deal on this thing that we have to buy. Instead of it being a thousand euro, let it be 500. Amen. And, and that's the way God works this out. Sometimes we get it messed up that God's just going to drop some more money in our lap. That's not how it always works. Sometimes it's simply through resources. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to be a simple prayer, but I want you to receive the prayer. And some of you that are dealing with this subject, I want you to understand God is going to answer this prayer mm -hmm. through abundant resources. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray tonight you, for the people dealing with the Thank subject you, of financial issues, promises, financial Lord. needs. Thank Maybe you, it's Jesus. a job issue. Yes, Maybe it's this God. COVID thing, Thank Lord, you, and they've not been able to go back to work. God, I'm asking you for the resources to supply. Your word says 
You will supply all of our needs according to your riches. I'm using the word resources there, Lord, through Christ Jesus. And you, Lord, you've got it all so you can handle this issue. Yeah. But Lord, we, your children, are asking in faith believing yes, for Jesus. the resources that are necessary to take care of the needs. We're praying it that Thank way tonight, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, and I pray that people are going to absolutely be amazed yes. at how you work this out. Hallelujah. So, Lord, honor the people and their gifts and their giving to you, O Lord. Yes. Honor your word. Yes. And I'm asking for the resources to be abundant yes. in all of these friends' lives. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And Lord, we we lift up Bose. He asked us to pray for him. So right now, will you say I'm praying for Bose? Lord God, we pray that you put a hedge of protection around Bose, that you would give him favor and blessing in his work and his schooling, protection and shielding, Lord God, favor above above all. So Lord, we just thank you for Bo's life. We yes, thank you for his yes. hunger for you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for his steps of faith, Lord God. Yes, and we pray Lord. that you would give him an abundant provision in all that he needs. Yes, Lord. Lord, we also pray for Danny's friends who are in prison with persecution. God, you know the details of this circumstance. You were with Paul in prison and you will be with these precious people, Lord God. You will help them. Make yourself known to them. Make your mercy and love and grace known to them. Make your strength and stamina known to them. Yes, Lord. Set them free in the name of Jesus. Yes, we thank you for, God, for yes, that, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We thank you so much, God, that you are doing that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Will you just put something that you're thankful for in the chat? I'm thankful for peace when I sleep. God has helped me to be able to trust him even with things that I feel worried about. Yes. I'm thankful. I can't type while we're doing this, but I want you to write something. I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for peace when I sleep. What are you thankful for tonight? When we pray with thanksgiving before we get to step nine, the victory, God does amazing things. So yes, Mary Carey, thank you. We declare Genesis. Thanks that you will meet all our needs in accordance to your riches. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mary. Amen and amen. Well, I want to give you this verse. I love to look at the Bible at different versions as well. And in 2 Peter 1.3 of the message, it says this, 2 Peter 1.3. And this is kind of what we're talking about. Generations, educational aspects of our life, our health and relationships and, and in our spiritual, physical, mental, all of that, our finances and resources. So here's what 1 Peter 1, 3, 2 Peter, sorry, 2 Peter 1, 3 says, everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately, there's that relationship, personal and intimate, the one who invited us to God, that's Jesus. The best invitation we ever received. We were also given absolutely terrific promises to pass on. Your ticket to participation in the life of God that is relationship. That is resources. That is an educational knowledge. I've got a ticket to participate in the life of God yes. after I have turned my back on a world corrupted by lust. So you see in every promise that God gives us, he also gives us a warning. Tomorrow on Thursday Connect at noon, we will continue our book study on Isaiah. And what I have loved about Isaiah is that he gives a prediction and a promise, and then we see it fulfilled. In the Old Testament, predicted. In the New Testament, fulfilled. There's a promise, and there is a fulfillment of that promise. And ultimately, there's the promise of this one, the Jesus, who we can personally and intimately know it's the best invitation ever. You know, one of the things... Thank you for those thankful things. Patience, yes, I'm thankful and grateful that the Lord God reigns in all things and all times. Thank you, Lewis, for mercies. Oh, yeah, we need those new mercies every morning, don't we? Listen, we were given absolutely terrific promises by the one who invited <clears throat> us into this personal and intimate relationship with God. God is not some big, bad ruler looking to make you feel bad about yourself. He is Abba, Father. He wants to say, I made you when you were in the womb. 
I knew exactly what talents and skills I was going to give you. I knew the things that you would go through that would actually become part of the mosaic of your life. And they are valuable. They're not broken pieces worth nothing. They actually make a beautiful masterpiece that the light of Jesus healing and redemption shines through. And so tonight, I want you to think about as, this says after we turned our back, on a world corrupted with lust. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. Either you will love one and hate the other. You can't serve two masters. You can't have one foot in the world and one foot serving Jesus. The Bible says if we're lukewarm, he's gonna spew us out of his mouth, but he has given us an absolutely Amen. terrific list of promises to live for him and serve him in a way that the generations will be blessed, that our educational ability to learn and grow will continue to thrive, that our health, even when our physical health fails, our spiritual health can thrive. I wanna say it again, even when our physical health fails, our spiritual health can thrive yes. and that's what's so important and then god gets the glory when the miracle is done and we decree the miracles will be done we will yes mary embracing god's word on thursday connect all right as we finish tonight our last area every week is on for our sunday services and god is doing some amazing things we're about to launch two services coming up in a few weeks and, and it's just amazing. We've got some more big announcements to make in regards to children. You can make it now. <laughs> I can make it now? Sure. Are we legally allowed to make sure. it Sure. All right. In two weeks, when we go to double services. <gasps> two we, services on Sunday morning. We are now going to launch our new Kids World Reopen. Woo! Uh, kids! The, the new rulings have come down. And uh, I told you by the end of the month, we'd have the new rulings and the rulings say that we can have kids ministry again. So uh, there's some rules to it, just like the COVID rules. There's going to be COVID rules for Social kids. Social distancing and masks. And we're going to adhere to every rule that there is, like we've been doing with the adults. But uh, so just get your stuff together and, uh, but you're going to have to register. So the two times of the services are going to be 10 a.m. They're one hour services because we're limited 10 a.m. and 1145. So we're not now this Sunday is communion. This Sunday service is at 11. So we haven't put any graphics out. We didn't want anybody to get confused. So Sunday at 11. But that's this week, October 11th in two weeks, two services in two weeks, two services. And those services will be at 10 a.m. for the early risers. And 11.45 for those who need a little more time to get their kids ready. And not only will they be live in Rome, but they will also, both services at those times will be live streamed around the world. So we will change our online time too, from one time at 11 to 10 and 11.45. This will give us 45 minutes in between to have a few minutes to pray and close up the service and then about 20 minutes to clean and make sure everything is sanitized, everybody's out, everything's sanitized. And then sanitized. let them all come back in and then of the, the next, new wave. The next group gets to come in. We're very excited about this. All right, and we gotta get to prayer about it because we're running out of our hour time that we set aside Amen. for this prayer. So will you join with me? Communion Sunday, this Sunday, you know how important. It'll be online for all of you friends that watch us online, go ahead and get juice. your cracker and juice right now. Get it ready for Sunday. And we're going to spend a special time because this month is on relationships. And I just felt in my spirit that this week when we do communion, we are going to spend some serious time because it's gonna be live, live streamed around the world plus our in-house campus. We are gonna spend some time praying mm -hmm. through communion, okay? It's going to be a powerful day. I, I, if you've not watched last week's message, you need to watch it. Go on one of our feeds and watch it because I'm telling you, we are set up for this Sunday. And in remember, through communion, it's in the atonement. Miracles happen because of what Jesus did for us at Calvary. And we're going, to, we're going to remember it Sunday, and we're going to pray for miracles. You don't want to miss communion service either online or live in Rome. So Lord, I pray yes, for Jesus. this week's services. 
Lord, there's so many components yes, that Jesus. maybe even may look like it's causing us a little bit of distraction because now with some new rules. Mm -hmm. But Lord, we're setting that aside. That don't take place till October 11th. Mm -hmm. What takes place is this coming Sunday. Yes, and Lord, we know that as a body of believers around the world have relationship as a family, we're going to share communion with each other. And we're going to see how that you do miracles because of what you've done on Calvary. We're going to pray to that end, oh Lord. You ask us to pray. And we've been praying this entire month. We've done a whole teaching series on prayer, but we've had powerful yes. times of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. People have been saved. Thank People have been Jesus. delivered. Thank you, Jesus. People have been filled with Thank the Holy you, Spirit. Thank God, you, Jesus. All our issues and families have been resolved. Miracles of healing have happened. God, we thank you for this month. But God, we know and anticipate you're not done. There is more to be done. And so we pray, God, you'll use the media team this weekend. You'll use the worship team. You'll use our Bridge Church in California to help us. God, you'll use the anointing upon my life as I preach the word, as communion time goes on. Lord, I pray for every component of church on Sunday that every component will lead to bring you honor and you glory. So, Lord, tonight I thank you for having this time where we've been able to talk to you yes. as a group of believers around the world. We've been able to have conversation with you, oh God, to say we love you. So let's just take oh, just yes. a couple I minutes saying, you, thank you, Lord. We I love you, you, Lord. Would you do that right now? All over the world, let's do that. You, Lord, we thank you. We I love you. you we adore you. Oh, we thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for hearing our father. prayers tonight. Thank listening to us and opening up the door so that more people can come in as that one new believer told me Sunday. Lord, I thank you for our new friend that just gave his life to you. And Lord, he's so excited that more people get to hear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for those that have joined us tonight online. God, I pray that their prayers that they have offered to you, God, they have touched your throne room. And God, the answers are going to happen for their life and their family and their situation. You, Lord, Jesus. we pray tonight for our world. Yes, God, Jesus. we pray for peace yes, on earth. Lord, God. God, I pray for resolve oh, God, of conflict. Jesus, God, I pray Jesus. that you will help people, the help the people in the leadership Lord, make Jesus. good choices oh, yeah, that are healthy choices that are spiritual choices, that are godly choices. Lord, I pray tonight that you will bless everyone that's been a part of this prayer time. And I thank you for them. And I pray blessings upon them. Take care of them, God, I pray. And give them a great night of rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. You know, I, I, I talked to you a few moments last week about, you know, the prayer and meeting with God, and, and then the obedience to what we need to do. And some, sometimes people talk to me about the, this resource part of the prayer, and they say, Pastor, man, my needs aren't being met. And one of the first questions, I, I'm bold, I just simply say, are you a giver? And it's almost like they have a stare look that comes to me next. Like, what? The Bible doesn't say that God's going to start blessing if you don't give. If you want to receive blessings from the Lord in the area of resources, you've got to be a giver. And I'm talking about faithful giving of your finances to the Lord, your tithes and your offerings. There's going to be opportunity for you to give online, our online campus uh, from around the world. Many of you send to the... Um, IBAN number and all the stuff that is necessary here in, in Rome to get offerings, but thank you. You know, we want to be a giving church. I heard of a great need today, and I'm going to talk to my finance team uh, soon about it, but I, I didn't want to, to say that I'm going to give this away, but I felt like God said, hey, here's another opportunity for you to be generous, mm -hmm. and, and, and I want to be a generous church, yes. and uh, I heard about a need today that I want us to I want us to take care of but I need people like you to say you know I'm behind that so here's my offerings here's my here's my gifts today so thank you for being a part of what we do keep praying God's for us there's some big days ahead um, our kids department is so excited 
That means for the last all number of weeks uh, since we've reopened, we've had hundreds of people not been able to come to church because they can't bring their kids. I have to tell you, though, you can register for everything online at the icfrome.org website. icfrome.org, you'll see register here, and it'll take you right to the page where you can register for the classes, you can register to join a ministry, you can register for the pre-service prayer as well, you can give, the, the, <coughs> they're making that available. But this week, I also got a testimony from a mom with ch children saying, you will never know. My kids look forward to Sunday at four because that's what time Sunday kids class is on Zoom right now until October 11th. And we are probably going to continue the Zoom at four right. for a while because not everybody will feel like they can come back yet with all of the rules and restrictions. But we want you to know that God is meeting the need. And so we've had to buy more masks, more thermometers, more technology. More stuff. So when you give, you're giving for the ministry to go out to every generation, for the educational system to happen in their lives, for resources to overflow, and for us to live in this amazing relationship with the intimate one of our soul and our life so we thank you we love you we're going to be meeting with our ministry team captains shortly after this on a zoom call to talk through some of the logistics for october 11 but again we will see you tomorrow online thursday connect at noon to study the book of isaiah we'll see you on the classes on sunday morning before service you can join in on that on zoom as well and uh, invite a friend Tell somebody, I've been praying for you, or I'd like to pray for you. Is there anything I can pray for you? That one question can open up something so amazing that someone's life could be better. I'll see you changed. Sunday. I pray you have a great night. We love you. Love you. Ciao, God bless ciao. you. Thanks for joining.